this a binomial for a binomial what two pieces of information do you need to know n and p and you do what with that multiply how long is that going to take 10 seconds So could you have answered that question? And what do you think she started doing then? She cried harder. <laughs> so sometimes you can't win. You know what I mean? So why am I telling you this story and being this dramatic? Do you guys know? Why am I doing this? So you guys, Adriana, so you guys won't do what? The same Meaning that, I, I guarantee you, you'll get that stuff. Don't fall through that trap where you think you have to compute all those probabilities to answer the at least one question. You don't. Oh, even better, how about if I did this to you? What if I asked you this question? Not at least one. What, as a note, I might even be so tempted Tempted to ask you, what's the probability of selecting at least two students that are left-handed? The same scenario, at least two. Do you guys know how to do on at least two? What's that? One minus what? One minus what? Huh? Uh, it's two. Let me, let me say this to you. I know, Adriana, you're saying, I know what at least two is. You're telling me, you know what at least two is? That means x is what? Two. x is what? Three. That's OK. It's OK. x is all the way up to what value? Eight. I know you know the meaning of at least two. However, if you're going to use this for answering a probability question, sometimes the best way is to answer the what? The complement. Is that right? So 1 minus, can you tell me, which outcome is not listed here? 0. What else? 1. See that there? Mm-hmm. Yes. I know that at least two is two or more, so you think, okay, add this one, yikes, add this, 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 add all of those values. And you have a lot of work to do, and you start sweating and go, oh, i got to add all these things. I might even do this. I might say, hey, what's at least two? Guess what? You already have the information to answer the question. What is P of zero? What is it? 0.43. What's P of 1? What's P of 1? 0.383. You see what I mean? You have the information. So 1 minus this stuff, what does that equal? Point one eight seven. No, it shouldn't be 0.18. Oh, is it? Okay. 0.187. So the probability that at least two students are left-handed when I select eight is 0.187. And again, the point is that you know those definitions and that complement rule. Bless you. Okay, you guys see what I'm saying? I'm doing this dramatic for you, not so that, you know, it's so that you don't forget it. And hopefully when you, you go back, you look at your notes, you review, you do your homework, you review that. You won't fall in that trap. Should we put your name on the board if you fall in that trap? Should we sit there and go, ha, ah, guess what? This person, this person, this person, guess what they were busy doing for the expected value question in the binomial? They created the whole chart. They didn't even finish. Should we put your name on the board? What about the at least one question? Guess what? They're computing, they're computing all these probabilities to answer the at least one. 
don't have to do it. Could you do it? Yes. Will you run out of time? Probably. But don't have to do it. Okay, you see what I'm, you see what I'm saying? Is that dramatic enough for you? Right? Too much? Okay, it's for a reason. Alrighty, how are we doing with the tape? Okay. All right, because I'm about to talk about another distribution. I think this might be time for a small break. Enough for us to go get another tape. Do you guys want a little break? I can keep going for 20 minutes and give you a break in 20 minutes. It's up to you. Break? Okay, all right. We'll break it. So one essay.